Hello, this is Alex Boyle from the Boyle Green Consultancy Company and what I want to talk to you about today is how the earth is um, running out of resources and how um, we as a race, we as a human race are depleting these resources slowly and steadily and not really put in anything back into the earth. Um, the planet is struggling to support its population because people are consuming resources faster than the earth can provide them, um, damaging the earth more quickly than it can regenerate itself. Those two factors added together give a negative result. Many scientists believe that the earth will run out of resources sometime this century if the current rate of consumption increases and continues. As our populace increases, we um, consume more energy, more food and a lot of other things. Um, the USA with just 6% of the world's population uses 30% of its resources. One fifth of the world's population consumes over 70% of the Earth's natural resources and owns over 80% of its wealth. They are mainly concentrated in the USA, Canada, Western Europe, Saudi Arabia, Australia and Japan. The world produces enough grain to supply every person on the planet with over 2,500 calories per day and yet star starvation is still rife in many developing nations. One fifth of the world's population is responsible for over half of the greenhouse pollutants and 90% of the ozone depleting gases pumped out into the Earth's atmosphere. These statistics show the Western world, including the UK, is more than it is using more than its fair share of the world's resources. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that there is only so much the Earth can handle. It can't replenish and the growth of the growth rate of human beings and the consumption of human beings will cause the Earth to run out of um, resources. Um, and I just want to get into where we get our resources from. Um, from land, the amount of land available in the world from growing crops is less than half the amount needed to match average Western demands. This is largely a result of urbanization, land clearing and large amounts of infertile land such as deserts, forests and unsuitable climates. Water supplies are also dwindling because of rapid population growth in the developing world and because of the way people waste water in the Western world. The total amount of water that falls as rain is enough to provide the world's current population with fresh water, but much of the total rainfall is concentrated in specific regions, leaving other areas without enough. Energy. Energy use has been growing faster than the world's population. There has been an over-reliance on fossil fuels such as coal and oil to supply the world's energy and many scientists agree that there may be only 50 years worth of oil left if it continues to be used at current rates. And, and lastly, biological resources. Studies show that people depend on approximately 10 million other species on Earth to support the food production process. Many of those species which exist within the food chain to produce, protect or enhance food production are in danger of disappearing because of the impact human behaviour has on the ecosystems sorry, of the impact human behaviour has on the ecosystems that they live in. And this has been Alex Boyle from the Boyle Green Consultancy Company and thank you very much for listening.